Today we're in San Antonio, Texas. Our first stop in San Antonio is the world's largest cowboy boots. These boots are huge and very stylish too. I like the style of these boots. It's kind of in a weird location. It's like in a shopping district. We have a lot more in store for San Antonio. Riverwalk and the Alamo, which is what San Antonio is most known for, will be coming soon. But today we're gonna be checking out a few other different things. We're walking to a Japanese tea garden now. It's right near the San Antonio Zoo, so if you wanna do both of them, you could probably hit them back to back. But it's supposed to be a pretty picturesque spot, and we're excited to see it. And we're, um, we have lots of sunscreen on us, and Matt's complaining about the heat, but I, he being a baby. There's a really nice shaded portion here when you get up to the top for people like Matt who need to get away from the sun. And they also look like they have like a little um, restaurant section too, which I was not expecting. But first glance, this is really impressive. It's better than I expected. some crazy koi fish in these ponds and they're really big too. Super beautiful and easy to see. I love looking at the fish, they're so neat. There's this one lone duck over here just chilling. This is a good place for a duck to be. If I was a duck, I would want to be in this garden. The Japanese tea garden at one point was temporarily renamed the Chinese tea garden because after World War II there was such, you know, uneasiness around Japan and Japanese things because of the war. So they renamed it to Chinese, but it, in 1983 or somewhere in the 1980s they turned it back to its original name, a Japanese tea garden, which I think is much more fitting 
and I'm glad it was renamed to its original state. We'd recommend if you can coming to the tea garden in the morning on a weekday if you can just so it's not as hot and hopefully there's less crowds of people because today it was pretty busy. We found the San Antonio mural. It's a, in a bit of a obscure place. And I don't know why they decided to put it here, but there is also lots of other murals around the area. And yeah, it's pretty nice. I like this mural. We're walking downtown San Antonio now. It's definitely much nicer downtown than some of the other places we were at before. Matt's enjoying a big red, um, just because we're out of water at the moment. But we're gonna walk down and get a popsicle to cool off and see a little bit of a park area. archways they have in this park are really nice. They must light it up at night because there's all these little light bulbs. I'm sure this would be really cool to see. I forgot to say but wanted to add those park and gardens. They had a lot of stuff set up for kids. Like if you have a kid that's the place to take them to play. They had some crazy playground setups there and it was busy and it looked like the kids were having fun. So if you have kids, take them to that park and when you're in San Antonio. But now we're walking over to where the Tower of America is. We're not gonna go in the Tower of America uh, just because I think it costs money to go up it and it's just not something we're that interested in. But obviously at the top there's great views of the city and I think the top part where it's um, a circle it rotates and there's a restaurant there so it'll rotate and you can get 360 views while you eat. Fun fact about the Tower of Americas, it used to be the largest tower before Las Vegas built one. And it reminds us a lot of the CN Tower in Toronto. They all kind of look alike, but um, by the Tower of Americas, there's really nice water features. I'm guessing because well, this is like officially part of the river walk. Seems like it's part of the river walk, but I'm really not sure if it is or not. water features are really nice. They have all these little steps and the water cascades down the steps. It's a little loud, but very pretty. This little art installation here that overlooks the Tower of America and all those waterfalls are called the Wings of Mexico. Uh, a lot of people come here to get an Instagram shot and I am also going to do that. We're in La Valita Historic District right now. It's a nice street of just shops, art, and 
old buildings and restaurants and lots of music playing out from the restaurants so it makes it really nice to be walking down the street and hearing the music and it's just really picturesque with all the old buildings. That's one cool thing about San Antonio is just the age of all these old buildings still in use. Pretty cool. San Antonio or maybe some other areas go to La Bonita Cafe because they have lots of free uh, things you can take with you. From La Valita, you can easily go down to the Riverwalk. Riverwalk is just down here. I don't know if we're going to touch it today. I think we're going to leave tomorrow for the Riverwalk so we can devote more time to it but you can easily do all of this stuff we've shown in a day downtown. So La Valita, it actually leads you out right to the River Theater. And wow, it's so pretty. This is our first look at the River Walk and that theater is so cute. That's so nice how they set it up like that with the river bending around it. There is a part in La Valita that must close and they shut it off and we were confused because someone came up to us saying we had to leave and we're like what like this is an open walkable area but I guess there's a part they close off that's like a lot of the shops at 5 p.m. so if you're there beware you might want to go walk through that before 5 or else you might get cut off from that part but now we're gonna finally get settled into our Airbnb at San Antonio, so we'll catch you there. Look how cute our Airbnb is. It's super stylish. I love this dark turquoisey color with the gold. It's very stylish. And it has like a little day bed if you have another person staying here. And in the back, a real nice dining room table, with spots for six people, and a full kitchen. Yay! later in the night and we're stopping at Pinkerton's which is probably the highest rated barbecue place they have in the area traditional barbecue so we're gonna try something there and then we're heading over to um, the light show at some church San Fernando Cathedral yeah. well Pinkerton's was sold out so word of the wise don't come at 8 p.m. at night <laughs> so come earlier because it said it was sold out um, but they do have a really nice park area at Pinkerton's. So if you come during the day, they have a nice park space to enjoy. So as you can see, we're not at the light show. We are zero for two tonight. First was Pinkerton's, then we went to the cathedral, and there was no lights. There was construction being, work being done to the cathedral, and there was a sign out that said no light show tonight, and Matt looked it up and saw it's actually been close. The light show hasn't been happening since January and it might start again in April. Huh, <sighs> really bummed because we really wanted to see it. But guess we're not going to. But um, we're going to be hitting the Alamo and more of the Riverwalk and more missions and stuff tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be in 
better mood and more energy after a night of sleep. <laughs>